In sunny but freezing conditions with compact snow, the 2013 IPC Alpine Skiing World Championships continued with the giant slalom. France's Marie Bochet joined an elite group of athletes to win five individual world titles in one event, with her victory in the giant slalom standing class. The 19-year-old defending champion conquered the course with the fastest time on both runs. She kept her turns fairly clean and maintained good speed throughout the course. She won in a time of 2 minutes, 21.61 seconds. Here is Marie Rocher! Yes, Marie Rocher first gold medal! Histórica marca la que acaba de aconseguir la francesa Marie Rocher, que si es confirman los resultados... Un peu dur dans le mur, euh, voilà, on a été un peu surprise parce que la neige était beaucoup plus euh, dure que hier. Mais au final, euh, ça reste une belle piste avec un beau tracé, euh, donc euh, digne des championnats du monde. And today was your fifth gold medal, is that right? Yes, it is. <laughs> oui, en effet, c'est ma cinquième médaille. Euh, je suis juste euh, aux anges, c'est vraiment génial. J'ai pas vraiment de mots pour décrire déjà hier, mais aujourd'hui encore plus. Euh, je suis vraiment très très heureuse. And we had talked about this yesterday, but did you expect to win five from five? Et oui, alors hier, je n'osais pas trop m'avancer, puis finalement, bah, elle est autour du cou aujourd'hui, donc euh, ça y est, je peux le dire, j'ai cinq médailles euh, d'or au Mondiaux euh, 2013. In a repeat of Monday's podium finish, Germany's Andrea Rothfuss picked up her fourth silver medal in La Molina, whilst 18-year-old Canadian Alexandra Starker also won her third bronze. Boucher was not the only skier to retain her giant slalom world title. So too did three other skiers, including Spain's Jon Santacana and his guide Miguel Galindo Garfes. The men's visually impaired was a close run with just 0.63 seconds separating the top four after the first run. After finishing second on their first run, Jon Santacana and his guide Miguel Guilindo Gafes put in a great second run to take their third gold in the championships after victories in the downhill and Super G. The pair kept incredibly close throughout the course with a good line of communication. You can really see them working as one, moving as if they were joined with a cord. The Spanish duo's time of 2 minutes 12.32 seconds ensured they retained their world title from the World Championships two years ago and placed them ahead of Canadian duo Mac McCrew, guided by BJ McCrew, and Chris Williamson, guided by Robin Femi. The Marcou brothers had led after the first run, but they couldn't keep up with the Spanish duo and took silver. Yesterday's super combined winners, Williamson and Remy, maintained their bronze medal. Sí, sí, no, pero es un balance muy positivo de los campeonatos del mundo. Eh, había sido una pretemporada complicada porque, bueno, eh, una lesión, tres meses prácticamente sin poder esquiar, comenzando otra vez a esquiar en diciembre, ya en, en, metiéndonos en carreras prácticamente. Y bueno, hemos llegado yo creo que en un buen momento, hemos conseguido llegar en un buen momento y bueno, eh, sobre todo nos ha fallado el, el slalom, las mangas de slalom, que bueno, también es el, la disciplina en la que más factor suerte y incertidumbre afecta y bueno, eh, yo creo que el, el resto hemos estado en un gran nivel, se ha visto que hay muchísima competitividad y estamos vale, muy orgullosos del resultado. Sigue la pregunta, ¿qué, ¿qué pensaste cuando perdió el palo? ¿O no te diste cuenta hasta que llegó en la llegada? A la llegada. Yo realmente no me di cuenta, o sea, vi que había tenido un enganchón con una puerta, porque siempre que pasa cualquier cosa, como vamos comunicados con el Bluetooth, pues eh, te, eh, grita o hace algo, entonces siempre te das la vuelta, pero no me, no me di cuenta que había perdido el bastón hasta que no llegó a meta y me lo dijo, ¿no? Pero bueno, al final yo creo que son lances de carrera que a veces te puede pasar, lo importante es seguir concentrado y seguir hacia abajo, ¿no? Porque hay que perder el menor tiempo posible. Pero bueno, eh, ya te digo, lo, afortunadamente ahí no le pasó nada. Lo malo fue después en el slalom que no, pudo, no pudimos acabar, la manga del slalom, y nos quedamos con la miel en los labios, pero bueno, el balance muy positivo. Sí. 
France's slalom world champion from Sunday, Vincent Gautier Manuel, recovered from the disappointment of not meddling in Monday's Super Combined to retain his world title in the giant slalom standing class. He had the fastest time on both runs. Using his strong slalom technique, he kept an incredible pace, keeping his turns very tight and maintaining the best line throughout the course. The 26-year-old led home the field in two minutes, 9.02 seconds, to take his second gold of the championships. A thrilling final to this man sitting, a thrill again. A second silver in as many days went to Russian's 15-year-old Alexei Bugayev whilst bronze went to Switzerland's Michael Brugger, who won downhill silver and Super G bronze last week. This giant solo male standing category. Big applause for all three. Great applause for all three. Okay. Yeah. 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 Eh bien, la médaille d'or, euh, je l'ai loupée hier, c'était pas passé loin, j'ai malheureusement fait une faute hier et aujourd'hui j'ai pris ma vengeance et j'ai réussi à aller décrocher l'or. And did you expect to win the gold medal today? Euh, je sais pas, je sais pas, j'étais pas favori en, en géant, mais euh, j'ai quand même sorti deux grosses manches, d'après mes coachs c'est les deux plus grosses manches que j'ai fait de la saison, donc euh, c'est récompensé et, et voilà je l'ai pas volé, je suis content. It was also another outstanding day for Japan's Taiki Mori, who picked up his third world title of the championships in the men's sitting class. The 33-year-old, who had already won gold in Super G and Super Combined, as well as a slalom silver, stormed to victory in 2 minutes 15.8 seconds to retain his world title. He also had the fastest time on both runs, skiing with a vigour and energy that his opponents just couldn't match. Yes, Taiki Mori, new world champion! With no problems with this uh, four second average over his teammate Takeshi Suzuki final time, two minutes, 15 it is the last... Uh, In a repeat of the podium at the 2011 World Championships, Mori's teammate Takeshi Suzuki took silver, whilst bronze was won by Switzerland's Christoph Kunz. Taiki Mori! So the technical na ban de, to, muzgashi desu tatta desu kedo, koete katsu koto ga dekite, sugoku ureshi desu. So the higoro no doryoku no tsumi kasane da to omoimasu. O starto kara goal made semei tsuzuke ta koto ga, hai, yokatta no kana to hii omoimasu. Russia's Alexandra Franceva and guide Pavel Zabotin picked up the first gold of the day in the women's visually impaired class. It was Franceva and Zabotin's third gold of the championships after success in the Super Combined and Super G events. The duo had the fastest time on both runs and finished in 2 minutes, 27.57 seconds. Her main rival, Henrietta Farkasova of Slovakia, wasn't racing because of an injury she sustained during training.
Okay, that's over for the women's visual. Franceva finished ahead of the Canadian duo Vivian Fauré and Chloe Lauzon Gautier, who added silver to the bronze they won in Sunday's slalom. The British pair, Kelly Gallagher and Charlotte Evans, won their second bronze of the championships, adding to the two silvers they had already won in Super G and Super Combined. Second place is F3 for Alexander Franz. It's very difficult. I don't know, it was a little bit. It happens. Austria's Claudia Losch won her third gold in La Manina thanks to an impressive second run in the women's sitting class. After the first run, Losch was in second place, almost two seconds behind Germany's defending champion Anna Schaffelhuber. Lush already has two world titles in Super G and Super Combined. And her second run was extremely fast. She skied aggressively, keeping her turns fairly clean to take her third world championship title. Her final time of 2 minutes 29.70 seconds ensured she finished almost a second and a half ahead of Shackle Huber, who had to settle for silver. Okay, so a new best time beaten. Now by Claudia Lewis from Austria to a short step ago. Bronze went to Canada's Kimberly Joins. Uh, it feels amazing. Um, also es fühlt sich wahnsinnig gut an. Ich bin so froh. Also nach dem ersten Durchgang habe ich nicht gedacht, dass es sich noch ausgehen könnte. Aber ja, es war super. And this is your third gold today, is that right? Ja, also meine dritte Goldmedaille überhaupt bei Weltmeisterschaften oder bei diesen Weltmeisterschaften. Ja, das ist einfach unbeschreiblich schön. And what was it like going out on your final run today, knowing that you potentially had a gold at the end of it? Nee, es war so, dass ich nach dem ersten Durchgang nur Zweite war, mit relativ großem Rückstand und ich habe dann einen wahnsinnig guten zweiten Lauf erwischt und ja, als ich dann im Ziel gewartet habe, war die Anspannung sehr groß, aber umso größer war die Erleichterung. After the final day of individual competition and 30 medal events, France led the medals table with 12 medals made up of 7 gold, 2 silver and 3 bronze. 